Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Math is Smart Tips. Today in this video, we are discuss the questions of linear algebra of WB set 2022 mathematical science. And in the last two videos of WB set 2022, the portions questions from ODE, PDE and integral equation and modern algebra are already solved. So in this video, we are solving the questions from linear algebra. There are total six questions come uh, in set 2022. We are solving in this video and before starting the solution of this video i am requesting you to all those who are new in my channel please like the video comment if you have any doubt in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe the channel and share with your friends so start <coughs> to solve the question the first question is question uh, if a is this matrix then trace of a trace of a power 102 is given by now given that aj it from this uh, matrix obviously a lower triangular matrix and the diagonal elements are the eigenvalues of a for an lower triangular matrix therefore the eigenvalues are 1 minus 1 plus minus iota root 3 by 2 and minus 1 minus iota root 3 by 2 so that is the eigenvalues are 1 omega and omega square and here we use the result that if lambda is an eigenvalue of a then lambda to the power n is an eigenvalue of a to the power n we all know, know this result so eigenvalues of a to the power 102 are 1 power 102 omega power 102 and omega square power 102 that means omega power 204 now since omega cube equal to 1 and 102 is a multiple of 3 and 204 is also multiple of 3 then these two also gives 1 therefore we have to find the trace of the matrix a power 102 which is equal to uh, we know that the sum of eigenvalues equal to 3 so 3 is the correct answer for this problem here option number d now go to the next question the next question says that let x equal to uh, 1 2 0 1 and t from m 2 r to m 2 r be a linear mapping defined by t of a equal to x a minus a x for all a belongs to 2 by 2 matrix over real field then the dimension of cut t we have to find the dimension of cut t so we have find the dimension of cut t by putting this t of a linear transformation equal to 0 and then find the dimension of this matrix a so let us take a matrix a equal to this a b c d now find x a and a x x a equal to this a plus 2 c minus c b plus 2 d and minus d and similarly a x equal to a b c d and this multiplication gives simply a 2 a minus b c and 2 c minus d now trace of uh, kernel of t is given by this t of a equal to 0 now this means x a minus a x equal to 0 so this gives x a equal to a x now we compare uh, the element wise so this gives a plus 2 c first a plus 2 c this is equal to a and this gives c equal to 0 now this uh, if, if this compare then this is also gives c equal to 0 and this b plus 2d equal to 2a minus b this gives d equal to a minus b therefore the matrix a takes the form a b a 0 and a minus b therefore there are two distinct element therefore dimension of this uh, kernel of t is equal to simply 2 so 2 is the correct answer for this problem option c is correct here now go to the next question the question uh, says that let m has eigenvalues 1 and 4 with, with corresponding eigenvectors uh, 1 minus 1 and 2 1 respectively with them m is we simply here uh, apply m mx equal to for a matrix m mx equal to lambda x so we check whether this is satisfied or not for this fourth option therefore uh, first eigenvalue is 1 minus 1 so this into this gives 4 and minus 4 but which is not equal to 1 into this is the not of the form of lambda into x where lambda is equal to 1 since 1 minus 1 is the eigenvector corresponding to the eigenvalue 1 so this is not satisfied so this is not correct now go to the next option number b we check whether a x equal to lambda x or lambda equal to 1 and 1 minus 1 is the eigenvector corresponding to the eigenvalue 1 so this is equal to 17 and 9 which is not equal to this form so this is also not correct option for option number c similarly this is also not correct option and for option number d this is the correct option since 
m into x this it gives lambda into this x so m x equal to lambda x is satisfied for the eigen eigenvalue 1 and also it is satisfied for the eigenvalue 4 so these two satisfies therefore option d is correct option now go to the next question question uh, the question says that the row space of a matrix of order 20 cross 50 20 by 50 has dimension 13 then the dimension of the space of solutions x equal to at zero matrix is now here given that the matrix is of dimension 20 by 50 therefore if we take uh, define a linear transformation t then this should be from r 50 to r 20 so here the dimension of row space equal to row rank of a is equal to 13 is it given now the dimension of solution space we have to find the dimension of solution space which is equal to nullity of a that is dimension of null space which gives the dimension of uh, here we also use the result dimension of domain equal to rank of a plus nullity of a and dimension of domain is equal to 50 therefore 50 equal to uh, here nullity of a plus rank of a gives 13 so nullity of a gives simply 37 so here d is the correct answer 37 this is an easy problem go to the next question question um, uh, question this question says that let a equal to 1110 and alpha n and beta n be two eigenvalues of a power n such that mod of alpha n greater equal to mod of beta n then which of the following option is correct now we first find the eigenvalues of a so eigenvalues of a is given by a lambda square minus trace a into lambda plus data equal to zero which gives the value lambda 1 equal to 1 plus root 5 by 2 and lambda 2 equal to 1 minus root 5 by 2 since 1 plus root 5 by 2 is greater than 1 minus root 5 by 2 so and we now use a result that is used uh, also above so which is if lambda is an eigenvalue of a then lambda power n is an eigenvalue of a power n therefore the eigenvalues of a power n is given by 1 plus root 5 by 2 power n and 1 minus root 5 by 2 power n now since this is greater value as compared to this therefore we take alpha n equal to this 1 plus root 5 by 2 power n and this alpha and beta n equal to 1 minus root 5 by 2 power n now since uh, 1 plus root 5 by 2 uh, greater than 1 therefore as n tends to infinity this value tend to infinity that means the value of alpha n tend to infinity as n tends to infinity and since 1 minus root 5 by 2 is less than 1 limit n tends to infinity this value tend to 0 therefore beta n tends to 0 as n tends to infinity that means alpha n tends to infinity and beta n tends to 0 as n tends to infinity that means option b is correct here go to the next question this question says that suppose uh, the minimal polynomial of a 5 by 5 matrix over r is given by x into x minus 1 into x minus 1 square then which of the following option is correct first we note that x into this that means it is clear that 0 is an eigenvalue of a that means determinant of a is equal to 0 that means a is singular matrix therefore these two options are incorrect since here it says that it is non-singular matrix so these two options are not correct now here we use a result if the minimal polynomial contains distinct linear factor then the matrix is diagonalizable but here this minimal polynomial does not contain the linear factor since this is not linear factor so this is not diagonalizable therefore this is singular and not diagonalizable option a is clearly correct and b is incorrect option so in this video this is the last question so how was the video if the video is helpful then please give a like to this video share with your friends and subscribe the channel thank you friends see you again in the next video thank you